Well, yeah, and I mean, I get that part, but like the the whole thing where the dude, like, you would think there would still just be like one dude that would be like, eh, just on principle, I don't fucking like you, and like, like I. I might be that dude. Like I, that might be me, but I'm, I, I'm also not the kind of dude that would be a prison guard, right? Like, but, but, like, it just seems to me like I would want to see the look on his face when I told him that his money wasn't going to buy me and meant it, because, like, I understand what happens with that, right? Like, I understand that everyone this dude's ever met in his entire life, all they had to do was wave a little cash around and they fucking fell in line. Which makes sense. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. It makes perfect fucking sense. But like for me, the intri- the intriguing part would just be to see the look of like utter fucking disappointment and disbelief when I was like, nah, fuck off. Yeah. In the whole, the, that's the, a night the, in the box. I just yeah. Cool. The problem you run into there mm-hmm. is that if you're one of ten different correctional officers in this block, yep. and the other nine are taking bribes, and you're the only one who's not. Yeah, I'm fine. You're making them nervous. Big time. Yeah, yeah. there's that. So then you wind up falling in line because, well, you have to have your livelihood at the end of the day. Fucking crazy. But, yeah, yeah. But the, the other part, though, but, like, the, the whole, like, <laughs> impregnating people and shit, that's on, a, that's on some next level shit. Yeah. That's like, that's, like, psychological manipulation and, like, that is convincing these female prison guards that they had some sort of worthwhile relationship. Yeah, right. oh, uh, one of them, yeah. at least one of them got a tattoo of his name on her. <laughs> Can you imagine the fucking power you would feel after that? Oh, yeah. Like, if you were already a narcissist before that, <laughs> holy fuck. Like, there's no going back. There is no going back. Like, that dude has to stay in prison for the good of everyone. Well, yeah. actually, no, that didn't work. Um... What do we do with him? What do we do when prison fails? Like, where, where do you send that motherfucking guy? Uh, so, like, maybe turn it into a reality show where we can see if he can turn, like, the shittiest environment possible into his own drug empire slash baby factory. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, that that's that's a... Uh, I, I actually have seen a game like that. Uh, Critical played it, where uh, it's like a prison simulator. Right. And uh, he played as a character called Doctor Vortivask, and he uh, <laughs> he would just like <laughs> fuck up the guards, and he'd stand before the the judge, and the judge would amazingly rule in his favor. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the name of the game, but it was pretty. Like, and, and it would be great, like you just keep escalating it. Like if he's the guy we're talking about in prison, then you move him to like I don't know East St. Louis, right? And then if he can make it to East St. Louis, then you move him to Utah. If he can make it to Utah, <laughs> then you move him to some fucking asteroid where it's completely unpredictable and there's no <laughs> oxygen. And he just he fucking see if he can thrive in outer space. And you just go on from there, right? Then you go to, like, move him to hell, see if Satan can <laughs> Satan winds up pregnant, like in South, South Park. Park yeah. bitch, and he's just pregnant and fucking walking around with, like, a ball gag in his mouth on a leash. <laughs> you know, I yeah. want to see how far this fucking guy can take it. Ah, shit. Oh, man. That's fucking crazy. Okay. Anyway, does this is this indicating that I can level up now? Uh, this is a perk up that you've had for a while, but I don't think you have the stats to get any good perks. Oh, okay. Okay. That's kind of misleading. That's a bummer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, eh. So let's see, I'm pregnant, and whatever happened to our conversation? Like, uh, am I supposed oh, to do uh, Okay, the, basically, the Ant Queen says that if you come back to her place in the desert, you'll be expected to fight in an arena. That's the gist of it. Oh, so that, yeah, that's how we got into prison fight club. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to have to join Ant Fight Club? Yeah. That sounds overwhelmingly easy. <laughs> well, you're not going to be fighting ants. You'll be fighting monsters. Oh, uh, okay. That's a fucking bummer. Okay, let's explore. Okay. And um, we'll definitely go back to the desert later, but for now, let's head to the lake. Okay. I want to try to win something before. It's the giant turtle lady. Oh, goddamn. Is that bad or good? I can't remember. The uh, she's friendly. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. 
Okay, let's see here. Hug babes. Hug babes. Hug babes. Okay. <clears throat> Hug babes. Hug babes. Hug babes. Hug babes. Hug babes. Hug Okay, so nothing really happens. Oh. Mm. It's a was, lust down if you uh, have that was lust. A mighty big hug. Well, those are mighty big tits, so I'm going to give you a big hug. I think I'll need another nap. Really? God damn, you're lazy. Someone hugged me. I need to go to bed. <coughs> okay, let's, um, let's explore again, of course. And um, forest. Let's head to the forest. Oh, goblin. There, finally something you can win against. I see it, yeah. Um, specials. Um, ye hit it with a bow. Oh, oh miss. Damn, okay, yeah. bite the shit out of it. No, no, bite, bite him. Uh, yeah. Bite. She's dead. Not dead, but nobody ever dies in these fights. You win, is the point. Right. Seven gems. Okay, okay. Uh, let's head... Explore again. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, I'm not feeling too bold. Let's head back to the desert. See what that does. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they drop a bottle, but uh, you don't catch it. Ah, bummer. Okay, um, let's rest. Okay. And it's time to sleep. All right, it's the next day. <clears throat> All right, explore again. Eh, uh, let's see. What's what's over on next? I keep forgetting like what the fuck's on that next menu. Oh yeah, high mountain. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Eh, uh, previous. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Like once per time we record, I have to hit the planes. The it's a planes. It's a, yeah, the gaping planes. It's a tradition. It has to be done. Up, oh, it's uh the. Lizard lady, the salamander berserker. Okay, he's ready for a rematch. <laughs> Probably not me. Level uh, and... 16. Mm. Christ. <clears throat> I'm said like, every time this happens, I wonder what happens when you fantasize, but I know what happens when you fantasize. You <laughs> get grass kit, right? Yep. Uh, so run. Okay. Oh. There, now, you got her. You just oh. Did I get away? Okay. Yeah. I was about it's to do It's not something. like the drider where you're just helpless. <laughs> okay. These encounters seem to be getting a little more unfortunate as I rise in level. Yeah. All right. Explore. Um, let's see. Explore again. Uh, here's a merchant. Yeah, that dude. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, after watching The Wire again, this really reminds me of Bubs now. <laughs> neighborhood yeah. store, neighborhood store. One for three, <laughs> three for five. <laughs> yeah, and he hires that other dude that can't make change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that poor fuck. He gets confused, like somebody hands him 11 bucks and he, like, passes out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's see. Here. I'm not spending All any right. money. All right. Uh, you could have bought some white T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, three-pack white T-shirt. Oh shit! All right, explore again. Um, also, I forgot about places, but let's let's uh, let's go to the lake one more time, then we'll try that. Uh, you have a ooze monster. Okay. No oh, it's only level two. Nice. Fuck it up. Um, Oop, what? What happens if you bite the slime monster? I imagine you'd have to. Use some Listerine afterwards. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's fucking do it anyway. Did you ever play a game or see a game called uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day? Nope. <clears throat> One of the bosses is just a gigantic lake of poo that has become self-aware. <laughs> wow. It's literally a pile of shit. Right. 12 XP, 5 gems. I can deal with that, I suppose. Yeah, you wouldn't want to use a bite attack on it. Although you do go swimming around in the poo anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, let's see. Let's head to places. I want to look at that again. And, uh, yes. The farm's weird. I'm just going to stay out of the farm for a while. Uh, 
Let's head to this line was me. Let's head to the boat. Boat? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh okay, so you swim out of the boat. No, you don't swim out of the boat. You row out with the boat. And then a small jewel island comes up, uh and then a giant ivory tree lady comes up. You seem so surprised by me, champion. I suppose that is inevitable. Your origin is not of Merith, and few save for demons remember me, says the tree. Uh, she's the life goddess Marai. 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 I don't know. Uh, I am Merith, for my roots touch every part of it, or I was before they came. <coughs> Uh, so the demons were once a tribe of magic-blessed humans living in the mountains. They had everything they could ever want, peace, love, and power, and change reality, uh, blah, blah, blah. But they dug too deep, and now, uh, now they're bad. They came pouring out of the mountains. Wave, uh, my people were cut off from me. So apparently the demon realm wasn't always the demon realm. It was just another realm. You know, while you're working on mods, maybe you could work on a mod that's like a too long, don't read kind of thing for this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like they have that like a, 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 a TLDR sort of Wikipedia thing, right? Where have you seen that? Where no. Like, it's like a very short Wikipedia, where they give you like a popular word that people would look up, like twerk, for example, right? And then they give you like the short version of the Wikipedia page. Or, like, it could even be a topic that people have been discussing. I'm going to need to find a link to that or some shit so I can show you. It's really fucking funny. But I read through, like, uh, 13 Wikipedia entries in, like, 30 seconds. Okay. So they they say uh, the demons have a factory at the foot of the mountains. It produces much of the fluid they use to taint me. uh, Shut down the factory, and I might stand a chance. Okay, so <clears throat> next. All right, so that uh, gives you the location of a factory. Ah, nice. Okay, let's see here. Eh, let's go places one more time. I want to have another look at that. Uh, do you want to heal up a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. I always forget about that shit. Yep. Rest. Rest. Meditate. Where did you want to go? Uh, go to places one more time. Okay. And, and let's see. Dungeons. Let's... Yeah. Uh, the only dungeon you know is the desert cave. Mm, dangerous? Yeah. Will I get fucked up? Okay, yeah, don't do that. I actually want to succeed a little bit. Like I've, uh, this has been like a prime, primarily speaking, just like I'm pregnant. Again, I got fucked up. So. There's also oh, another page that has town ruins. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I owe a bunch of people favors. This is starting to get real fucked up. Okay, um, let's see. All right, go back. Oh, okay. Um, explore. Head to the lake one more time. All right, you just get a minor speed boost. Okay, try that one more time. <clears throat> Excuse me, shit. Uh, okay, there's a goo girl. Level three. Good times. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's bite her. Okay. Right. Bam. Mutilates. Yeah, that's good shit. Uh, do that uh, one more time. Bam. Takes a lot out of me, though, doesn't it? Shit. Yeah. All right. I mean, just regular attack. Boom, she's yep. dead. Ooh, 38 oops. XP. That's not so bad for such an easy fight. Uh, there's a clump of green gel. You want to just throw it away, or you, or yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see pink dye. Get rid of the pink dye. All right. And uh, yeah. All right. Let's go to I, Tel Audrey and sell the stuff because you got a full inventory. Yeah. And oh, also, I don't, I don't know what's. Uh, there's a commotion in Tel Audrey. A dense crowd <laughs> of onlookers is formed. The sound of blows impacting on flesh can be heard, alerting you to the fight at the gathering's core. Well, maybe they are doing. A little, well, this is in public, not a prison. Maybe they brought the prisoners out, and they're having prison fight club right in the middle of the street. <laughs> nice. Investigate, or who cares? Uh, investigate. 
okay. You shoulder past the bulky centaurs, ignoring the rough fur of the wo nearby wolves and hounds as it brushes against you. Uh, Erda, the fox woman, is fighting a larger wolf man. He charges. Uh, she beats its ass. <laughs> Uh, small white worms crawl over the surface of his penis. Well, we know where he's been. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit. Wriggling Sorry. out of it. Leaving trails of slime. <clears throat> We've all been there. It's nothing yeah. to be embarrassed about, dude. Just, uh, don't be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of that one scene in, uh, The Wire where, uh, Rawls is at the gay club, but they only show it for, like, a moment. Yeah. It's like, yeah, wow, well, didn't realize he was here. But, but see... Right here, you know where this guy's been, because he's right. got. <clears throat> really yeah, there's only one place you can get something like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they throw him out because he's too corrupt. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there was that whole big small town commotion. That sounded like some redneck shit. I mean, <laughs> we don't fucking take kindly to that kind of shit. Get the fuck out of here. And oh, you know that like, reminds me of. Uh, have you been watching <laughs> the latest Walking Dead? Oh hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, throw him out, <clears throat> asylum. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you're a whiny spoiler chump, then just uh, shut it off right now because I'm gonna ruin everything for you. So fuck you anyway for not watching it. Yeah. Um, have less time, uh, or have more time for yourself. Have a little self-respect and watch TV more. Anyway, um, where you know Michonne comes up and just pow, whacks him on the back of the head at the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah. I think I felt my dick move. I love Michonne. <laughs> yeah. Really do. Oh, She's dude. If you awesome. love Michonne, don't yeah. read the comics. I'm too late. You have? Wait, yeah. Um, well, I'm not caught up. But I have read, I wish I could see my shelf from here, I can't. But I have both, of, you know the large volumes they released? Yeah. I have uh, volume one and two, and I've read both of them. So that puts me up to like issue 98 or something. So yeah, I'm plenty familiar with the comics. And um, yeah, Michonne's a fucking nutcase in those goddamn books. And she's yeah. really weird and unlikable. And just all all around nutty and no good. But I'm um, obviously yeah. And that was a disappointment, by the way, because I didn't start reading the comics. So I saw the show. Most people did it the other way around. I saw the show first. Uh, I wasn't reading the comics when Michonne was originally introduced into the TV series. Yeah. So I had no fucking clue who the psychotic looking person with the cloak was. Like that to me was the most badass shit ever. Yeah. And was just shrouded in fucking mysterious shit. And I was just amazed. And then I saw the comic, and I was like, eh, eh. Well, you Yeah, standing there with the katana and the two, uh, the two uh, walkers on a leash, you think this yeah. person, this person, it, 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 at first it was almost like they were introducing some kind of like a fantasy element into it. Right, that's kind of the vibe I got too, um, which I didn't mind when I found out what she was really like, because TV Michonne is a fucking badass. A yeah. fucking very dude. But yeah, comic comic Michonne, nah, gross. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay, well, what what happened in the the last issue that you read? Oh, like fuck. what what point are you? Are you oh, past? I am at Alexandra actually in the comics where. Oh, okay. Uh, so you saw right. all the bullshit between her and the governor. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah. so good. I'm not spoil. Again, like Sarahan said, if you don't like spoilers from the comics, although let's face it, most people don't read, so it's, it's we're not in any danger. Right. Exactly. Uh, in the comics, the, the governor... Oh, by the way, that wasn't like a fuck you to the people that watched the video. <laughs> I'm sure most of you read, and this isn't at all condescending, but go ahead. Yeah. Uh, in the comics, uh, the governor rapes Michonne. Right, big And time. she comes back, right. cuts his dick off, mm -hmm. shoves a spoon up his ass... Yeah, pulls yeah, the spoon it's... out and then uses that same spoon that she shoved up his ass to scoop out his eye, and that's how he gets yeah. the eye patch in the in the books. Yeah, she totally fucks him up. And in the uh, TV series, they just sort of he would have probably been that fucked up to her given the opportunity, the governor that is. But you know, he was kind of stopped prematurely. Like he wanted, he was setting up the little torture room in the TV series. Yeah. Remember? 
and uh, Andrea and them put a stop to that shit or whatever, or uh, however that played out. It wasn't so much Andrea. Like, he wound up getting the best of her, I yeah. think. Yeah, it was fucked up. She was trying to... Oh, yeah. She was in the room with what's-his-name, the nerdy dude who was supposed to uh, kill her, but he didn't. And the governor stabs him. So then she winds up in a room with him. 